Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Speaker of Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, and Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh. His Majesty thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for the cooperation between the executive branch and the legislative authority, which has made remarkable contributions to the promotion of the development and building process that is beneficial to the country and the citizen. His Majesty also thanked the Shura and Representatives Councils for their role and efforts in adopting and implementing advanced legislations that contribute to enhancing Bahrain's distinguished position in the integration of services and providing an appropriate environment for investment that contributes to creating quality opportunities for citizens and consolidating the civil state's rules based on justice and equality, protection of rights and freedoms, respect for the law, and dissemination of the values of moderation and tolerance. His Majesty the King stressed that the citizen is always the center of development and its foundation and that every effort and contribution in the progress of this country. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al Fitr. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and wished Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He praised the role of His Majesty the King in achieving progress and prosperity and hailed the national gains that meet the aspiration of the kingdom and its people. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid al Fitr. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and wished Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call on the advent of Eid Al Fitr with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmad Al Subah, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Governor of the Eastern Region in Saudi Arabia, Prince Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. They exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al Fitr, and the leaders wished Bahrain and its people many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with Arab and Islamic leaders on the advent of Eid al Fitr. His Majesty the King wished them continued health and happiness, and to their countries and peoples many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 26 of 2018 regarding Bahrain Tele Polytechnic College after it was approved from the Shura and Representative Councils. The law stipulated the restructuring of the Bahrain Polytechnic as an independent academic body, the sources of its budget and revenues, expenditure, property, chattels, service charges, objectives, supervision, academic and trustees boards, personnel, training, salaries, wages, disciplinary procedures, termination, and organizational structure and internal regulations. The Decree 65 of 2008, as well as currently effective resolutions, will apply wherever not in breach of the provisions of this law. The Prime Minister and the Ministers, each according to their domain, will implement the provisions of this law, which becomes effective from the next day, after the date of its publication in the official gazette. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid al-Fitr. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness and wished Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations progress, prosperity and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes with their Highnesses, the leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of the Gulf, Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Fitr, wishing them continued health and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired a weekly meeting today at his office in Qudaybiyah Palace to discuss a number of topics on the economy and the legislations that guarantee social protection and support savings that guarantee their sustainability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the necessity to limit negative trade practices that affect the freedom of trade activities, directing to set regulations for subleasing to prevent the misuse that affects trade activity and violates the freedom of practicing economic activity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up on the financial state and their retirement funds, stressing the need to focus on ensuring their growth according to an optimal management of dangers and an efficient handling of insurance products and investments. He asserted the importance of preserving the rights of citizens through ensuring the sustainability of insurance funds. He also asserted the need to review laws to ensure the sustainability of insurance funds while prioritizing the rights and interests of citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders and Crown Princes of Gulf, Arab and Islamic states on the advent of Eid al-Fitr, wishing them abundant health and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening received condolences from members of the royal family, senior officials, diplomats, high-profile dignitaries from the region and citizens at Rufa'a Palace following the sad passing of Her Highness Sheikha Hala bin Tadaij Al Khalifa. Also present were His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the President of the Court of the Crown Prince Sheikh Khalifa bin Adaij Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Salman bin Adaij Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his gratitude to all those who paid their respects and offered condolences. He also appreciated the offered condolences by the DCC and Arab friendly countries, either by by attending or through cables, praying Allah Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in peace.
His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. Yesterday, in the presence of the President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalifa bin Adaij Al Khalifa, and the Director General of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Mohammed bin Nawaf Al Saud at Rifa' Palace. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Mohammed bin Nawaf Al Saud extended condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and to the Royal Family on the sad passing of the late Her Highness Sheikh Hala bin Dadaij Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman extended their appreciation to His Royal Highness Prince Salman on his heartfelt condolences underscoring the strength of the long-standing Bahraini-Saudi ties. Their Highnesses also extended their best wishes to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, wishing it further prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs hailed the Royal Order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to establish a college for Islamic studies which will be dedicated to teaching the sciences of the Quran, Islamic jurisprudence and comparative jurisprudence. The Council affirmed that the establishment of the college reflects the interests of His Majesty the King to enhance the outputs of the Islamic sciences and Islamic studies in the country. The Council commended the Royal Jester on the naming of the college after the name of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa in appreciation of his contributions and pioneering efforts in serving the religion and disseminating his teachings and values and calling for good as well as his contributions to many humanitarian, charitable, cultural and historical fields. The Moon Sighting Committee met today, June 14th, corresponding to Ramadan 29th at the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs premises and announced that tomorrow Friday will be the first day of Eid al-Fitr for the Hijri year 1439. The Council extended good wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Ahmad Al Khalifa. The council also extended Eid al Fitr congratulations to the royal family, the people of Bahrain, and to the Islamic world, praying to Allah Almighty to bless the Arab and Islamic nations with peace, security, and prosperity.